have the part here now, cut into pieces, kind of. I did notch it up a little bit, as you can see there. And the reason for this notch is because this is where the lip will be sitting, or the cutting front edge. And I have the front edge here. I cut it out from the old piece, as you can see. And it's not as long as it was before. And on the other hand, I will not be needing that long one, and if so, I have to add extra. I did ca cut a notch in the middle as well, just to make it somewhat tooth-like. And it's just an idea of I have that this will make it a little bit easier to dig when there's a lot of um, stones and other things in the way. The metal is rather thick on this end here, and uh, meanwhile the part here is very very thin. Uh, we are talking about 4-5 five, five millimeters compared to perhaps 3 millimeters here. Uh, it's a little bit of distance here, so I will be adding a flat iron piece here, uh, just to strengthen it up a little bit. Uh, and this is how it looks like in, underneath, unfortunately this, this piece here is not in the middle, but that doesn't make that much sense to have. So it's time to weld this up and we will start with tacking the sides up and then we will solid weld it. actually do the ding a little bit better with a little bit more force. So let's check if the depth was good enough. And we actually have a rather exactly 60 centimeters down on the thing that I just dig. And that's perfect. That's how it's so basically guys this is it for this video. This was a quick one where I fixed the bucket from my excavator. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that and we'll see you next time. Bye!